Thank you very much. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Weekend Update. I'm Michael Che. I'm Colin Jost. In a speech after annexing sections of Ukraine, Vladimir Putin attacked the U.S. for Satanism and denounced the many genders and fashion in the West. It was a hateful, unhinged speech, which has many Americans calling him electable. (laughs) Senator Rick Scott, seen here learning that Harry Potter has fallen into his trap. Announced that he is running for re-election, promising to finish the border wall and name it after Donald Trump. Even though most things named after Donald Trump are complete failures. This week, Instagram was down for an entire day, forcing many Instagram addicts to fill their time with Twitter, TikTok, or hosting SNL. Fox News turned 25 this week and they celebrated their birthday the same way I do, by paying white women to say some nasty stuff. (laughs) The latest jobs report shows that last economy, the U.S., last month, the U.S. economy added over 200,000 jobs. We'll see about that, said Elon Musk. (laughs) This is is interesting. Since Elon Musk took over Twitter, use of the N-word on the site has reportedly jumped 500%. It's the biggest increase in the use of the N-word since the last time I stubbed my toe. (laughs) Twitter is launching a program to pre-bunk misinformation posted on the site. But I don't know, they taught us in health class that even pre-bunk can get you pregnant. Wow. The Senate voted to confirm Justice Amy Coney Barrett along party lines. Party lines is also what Don Jr. does to prepare for interviews. (laughs) CNN has announced that due to budget cuts, they are scaling back on original series and documentaries. Yeah, apparently there was a flaw with the business model of giving Stanley Tucci millions of dollars to eat gelato. A zoo in Atlanta will allow visitors to carry firearms. So you want to try laughing at me again, monkeys? (laughs) Facebook's also denying a report that says using Instagram can cause users to develop a negative body image, which explains their rival's new slogan, TikTok, bring your fat ass over here. (laughs) Nike has official... (laughs) Nike has officially cut ties with Brooklyn Nets star Kyrie Irving over his anti-Semitism scandal. Kyrie says he's so depressed he might jump off the edge of the world. (laughs) Google announced that it is cutting 12,000 jobs, while Yahoo announced that it is now run by a family of raccoons. Pope Francis criticized laws banning homosexuality as unjust, saying that it's not a crime, even though Catholic doctrine views homosexuality as a sin. He also stressed that Catholic doctrine views age as nothing but a number. (laughs) A photo taken of President Biden visiting with Jimmy Carter and his wife has gone viral for an odd angle that makes Biden look like a giant next to the former president. Even weirder, when you zoom out, they're all being held by Giuliani. <laughs> today, today was the SantaCon bar crawl in New York City. Yeah, the uh, annual reminder that while Santa may exist, God doesn't. <laughs> Officials at TikTok are trying to stop efforts in Congress to ban the app by launching a campaign called Project Texas because TikTok is their baby and they know Texas won't let them get rid of it. (laughs) Police say that a woman who went missing nearly six months ago was found in a tent in a forest in Utah living off grass and moss. Authorities believe the woman either had mental health issues or had read an article on Goop. (laughs) The Supreme Court heard a case this week over whether a conservative evangelical woman can refuse to design a website for a same-sex marriage. But, honey, I don't know any gay couple who's going to hire a designer with those highlights. (laughs)
world. <laughs> Disney World is closing Splash Mountain to turn it into Tiana's Bayou Adventure after complaints that its Song of the South theme was racist. Okay, but where's the outrage about Disney forcing a mentally challenged dwarf to mine blood diamonds? <laughs> Disneyland's Snow White ride is being criticized because Prince Charming kisses Snow White without her consent while she's asleep. Which still isn't as bad as Universal Studios' new Cosby the Ride. After meeting with the Anti-Defamation League, Kyrie Irving announced that from now on he will pretend to not be anti-Semitic. <laughs> Brooklyn Nets star Kyrie Irving was suspended after he tweeted a link to the anti-Semitic film Hebrew to Negroes Wake Up Black America. You know, Hebrew to Negroes was also the name of my favorite R&B group in the 90s. <laughs> Barefoot Wine has teamed up with Oreos to create a line of red wine with hints of chocolate, while I teamed up with alcoholism to give it a try. <laughs> a new report shows that female doctors over the course of their careers make $2 million less than men. Oh, that's just not right. I mean, female doctors? <laughs> The committee showed a never-before-seen video from January 6th of a desperate Nancy Pelosi speaking on the phone with Mike Pence, which to Pence counts as adultery. <laughs> In the video, Pelosi <laughs> said that she wanted to punch out Donald Trump and knew that if she did, she'd go to jail and be happy. I assume because she owns stock in private prisons. <laughs> A new study finds that if cats were humans, their behavior would classify them as psychopaths. <laughs> While if dogs were human, they'd get me too on day one. <laughs> there, are growing, there are a growing number of nuns who are joining TikTok to show what life in a convent is really like. Because when the Catholic Church tries to connect with young people, it always goes well. <laughs> well... This will get you back. A school district in Florida is investigating a picture posted online of students spelling out the N-word. It's a shocking instance of Florida students being able to spell. A new report lists the city with the worst traffic in the world as London, England. Uh, here's an idea. Maybe stop driving on the wrong side of the road. Just saying. <laughs> Kentucky Fried Chicken is testing a new dipping sauce called Sweet Hot Capital City Mambo Sauce. Coincidentally, Sweet Hot Capital City Mambo Sauce is also what Jost calls rap music. <laughs> Police in Oregon are warning residents about several hand grenades that have washed ashore on a beach. The hand grenades were discovered when one beachgoer said, Mommy, look at this shell I found. <laughs> John Fetterman, who is still recovering from a stroke, and Dr. Mehmet Oz met for their only debate before the midterms. And just like in his puppy experiments, Dr. Oz showed no mercy. <laughs> Fetterman, Fetterman began his opening statement by saying, good night, everybody. It was a bizarre moment that debate watchers called his high point. <laughs> NASA has released an image of the sun in which it appears to be smiling. So if the sun can smile, would it kill you ladies to try it? <laughs> an Arizona woman was arrested after she allegedly went day drinking while her five-month-old child was sitting home alone, like a loser. <laughs> I don't understand why Fetterman was allowed to do this debate. Who's his campaign manager? The Miami Dolphins concussion doctor? <laughs> and by the way, it's not like Dr. Oz did great. He just did slightly better than a recent stroke victim. <laughs> At one point, Dr. Oz suggested that if a woman wants an abortion, she should consult a local politician, which sounds like a great way to get an abortion five years late and 10 million over budget. <laughs> If you guys saw today, Morocco beat Portugal in the quarterfinals of the World Cup. It is, uh, yeah, it's the best World Cup performance by a team of Africans since the unpaid workers who built the stadiums. I didn't do it. 
South Carolina lawmakers voted to add firing squad to its execution methods. And I think it's nice that people will finally get the chance to be shot after they're found guilty. <laughs> police arrested a couple after they raided their home and discovered one million dollars worth of meth. For reference, this is what one million dollars worth of meth looks like. <laughs> Portugal's head coach decided not to start soccer legend Cristiano Ronaldo in today's loss. Even more insulting, at halftime, he tried to trade Ronaldo for Brittany Griner. <laughs> The biggest upset so far in the World Cup was that favorite Brazil was eliminated, except for a tiny strip down the middle. 